In the bottom left starting location, Arteran, who tried to do that Raven Banshee Thor build, it didn't work out. He is... OGS Supernova. Supernova. In the opposite side of the map, in the upper right, the Obama toss, he is... OGS MC. Getting some cheers from the audience in here. Pretty packed in here again tonight, Tasteless. Yeah, our city has been getting more and more packed lately. Oh, I thought you said our city. I'm like, yeah, man, Seoul's pretty packed. That's what I do, Artos. When I'm at my apartment, I look out my window with a glass of wine in my hand. I go, that's my city. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. I've actually seen that. People think I it's a joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> I glance out the window like some crazy mob boss. Like. Uh, all right. So, of course, Antigua. Uh, this is not the ladder, so they are cross spots, and they already know that. I actually prefer this map with it's just cross spots. Yeah, it's well, it's kind of annoying if you to it, actually. ladder on this map, and yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It, like you get the weird starting locations where I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah. I guess my main's gonna be dropped the whole time. Okay. No, please, you go. Well, I, I, I think MC decent chance here of going one gate expand again. This is a pretty darn good map yeah. for it, especially when you're cross spots like that. And it's definitely a build that he likes. As you guys could see in their previous experience, pretty even on this map. Um, so nobody's clearly the map's favorite here. Supernova, on the other hand, has his gas. Looks like he's going to go for a factory. And there it is. Factory. He will, in fact, go for a factory. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Now, we have um, warp gate research being done. Uh, MC looks like he's going to stick with the build. He's oh. uh, did in game number one. A second gas for Supernova. Could oh, it be a 1-1-1? Oh, one, one, nice one? micro. Oh, he's not getting in there. No, he's not. That was oh, really hell nice. no. That was MC's really good nice. Zealots, man. He is. He's a good Zealot user. He is. And? Ooh, wait a second. What? Oh. Oh. What? So what? smart. Okay. Ready? Supernova took his first gas as the gas that you can't see from the ramp, and he walled in real quick. MC didn't get there in time to go in the wall in. When you see a wall in, uh, normally the Terran is going for just a gasless expansion. Oh, and that's now he so built, smart. Now he built a bunker at the front of his uh, expansion. Oh, and that's so when really MC smart. pokes, he's going to be like, yep, there's an expansion back there. But in the meantime, he's double gassing, and he's going for Banshees. Oh, man, that is just genius. That is I'm actually glad smart. you picked up on that, Otosis. Thank you. Because, wow. Yeah, that's like, this is so good for him. MC right now going up to three gates. Doesn't even have a second gas yet. We're going to have a cloaked Banshee, no doubt about it. Cloak being hit immediately. Yeah, before uh, the Banshee even. Yeah, he needs to get that cloak immediately in. Unless MC grabs a second gas right away. It's going to be bad, man. Well, only time will tell. Oh, he's going into four gate. Uh-oh. Uh, well, you know, I... I, I would assume he has to get a robo now. Let's see. He'll either get a robo or he'll get a um, Twilight... Uh, well, council. the thing is, when you go one gate expand, normally what you'll do is go into three gate robo. But he's decided to go into four gate, which, I mean, it's fine. It's a good build. But without that robo, it's going to be like an auto loss. And it really does. I mean, he's not going to go for the robo. He just That's not what you don't go one gate expand into four gate robo. That's just not how it works. Oh, it's not so the way sad. the world is. This is so sad. All right. I'm sure I'll get the second Banshee. Center and the all, up, man. Basically, all Terran has to do now is brace for an attack. Yep. And here and comes And he's the actually going to follow this up with a 1 on 1 all in. He's going three racks, plus the factory, plus the starboard. Oh, God. And the Stalkers aren't even back at home. MC is actually going to go and try to bust them right now. And so we might get into a base trade scenario, but Cloak's Banshees will rule the day. Well, in that TVP scenario. Terran's just better in base trade scenarios in general. And their yeah, buildings can yeah. move and everything. I mean, realistically, he can float a building over somewhere that MC can't reach and just kill everything with Banshees. Uh, this is really, really bad for MC. In fact, he'll probably warp in some Stalkers at home 
which will lessen the impact of his attack. But then the cloak will come up. And look at that, warping in two, and bam, cloak goes yep. up, MC's heartbroken. And that's so smart, because he does it at the very, 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 very last second. He actually may want to lock these uh, Marines yep. out. Good job there, locking the Marines out. Yep. And, I mean, this is, this this is, is just it, so guys. bad, man. This is it. Unless Protoss can break in there, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. You can see uh, uh, Supernova knows that. Yeah, MC and trying to break through, but the SCV is already there to repair. And he may break down one depot, but, I mean, is this going to be enough? The Banshee's coming down to help out, and uh, it really looks like MC is pretty dead here. Yeah. He's already got 21 kills on that other Banshee, by the way. And I would say expect GG any C. Yeah. GG. Well done by Supernova. MC choosing the wrong build order here. Yeah. Well, that's if, if you're good and you have a teammate, you guys play all the time and you want to beat him, if you really know his builds and know how he thinks, and that's clearly what Supernova had going on for him in this case, he's like, no, I actually know well, here's exactly the thing. what yeah. MC would do. Well, he, yeah, that's it. He knows what MC would do. He showed MC what MC wanted to see, which is a just walled in expand. And then he showed him the bunker because MC wanted to check again to make sure. And then MC went for no observer because he's like, well, you can't have Cloak Banshee that quick. But in fact, it was all an elaborate trick. And Supernova played him like the fiddle. He played him like a piano. Or the he fiddle. He played him like... He could be the fiddle too, whatever yeah, you want. Man. You know. He played him like played a him like video the ukulele. Game. He played him like a StarCraft. Ooh. He played him like a StarCraft. You, sir, are funny. Um... Really? We he actually. I, well, that's one of those funny things where it's like I don't just laugh at it. I kind of, yeah. I kind of go like, yeah, it's yeah. A game man, right? You yeah, play StarCraft. <laughs> Played him like a StarCraft. Um, we are gonna take a break here in a minute, but I did enjoy uh, that last strat. That was Dude, no way MC could have seen that coming from the information that was given to MC. Mm -hmm. Not gonna be prepared for that. Supernova now with his three point three percent vote. May actually end up getting out. He's going to face off against Lima. The nerds next. were wrong. All right, we're going to be back in five minutes, so please stay tuned. <laughs> 